Hello everyone, great to see you again. Today, I'm excited to introduce an outdoor cafe design, inspired by a modern rustic style with a touch of tropical minimalism. The design mainly uses natural materials like raw wood, concrete, and lush greenery to create a cozy, relaxing, yet refined atmosphere. All the trees and plants in the scene are from the Onscape Asset Library, lightweight and optimized for smooth performance while maintaining high quality rendering. Let's dive in and explore the details together. Here we go. Let's go back to the Onscape environment. We can see that the entire scene is running very smoothly, which means the file has been well optimized and transitions between scenes are seamless. But wait, not everyone is using a high performance machine. For lower end devices, flag and stutter during rendering are almost inevitable if the file is too heavy. So what's the solution? The simplest and most effective way is to convert complex models into Onscape assets. This makes them significantly lighter while still preserving visual quality. This is a tip I always apply to large scale projects, especially when working on landscaping or detailed visualizations. Let's take a closer look at this file. The most complex and geometry heavy object in the scene is, you know, without a doubt, the lantern hanging in the outdoor seating area. With its high level of detail and curved surfaces, this model is the main culprit behind the heavy file size. If you keep it as is in SketchUp and render it in Enscape, especially if you duplicate it multiple times, the file is likely to lag or freeze. So today, I'll be converting this lantern model into a custom Enscape asset. Doing this won't just make the file significantly lighter, it also makes the model easier to manage, edit, and reuse in future projects. Let's get started right away. Before jumping into the conversion process, take a few minutes to double check the model you're working with. Make sure it's fully completed with no technical issues like missing faces, reversed faces, incorrect or inconsistent materials. One very important note, group the entire model before exporting. This step helps the export process run smoothly, prevents minor bugs, and preserves the structure when importing into the Onscape Asset Library. Taking the time to prepare properly at the beginning will save you a lot of time later on. Next, go to File Export 3D Model. You can export to any folder, but I usually save it in the same location as the SketchUp file to keep things organized. Make sure you export in FBX format. In the Export options, select the correct units, meters, or millimeters, and adjust other settings accordingly to preserve model integrity. Now, go ahead and select the entire model. Then, go to the V-Ray toolbar and click on Export Proxy. This is a crucial step to optimize your model before adding it to the Onscape Asset Library. In the Export Settings window, you'll see an option called Faces in Preview. This determines the level of detail shown in the SketchUp preview. For this model, I'll set it to 3000, an ideal number that keeps the model lightweight enough for smooth performance while still detailed enough for you to recognize what kind of tree it is. Finally, click Export and wait for the export process to complete. Once your proxy model is ready, export it again, this time as an FBX file. Save it in the same folder and add a proxy suffix to the file name to avoid confusion with the original FBX file. Now open the Enscape Asset Library and click the plus button to create a new asset. Expand the interface window for better visibility and smoother workflow. On the right panel, click Import Geometry and locate the FBX file you exported earlier. Wait for the model to load in the preview window, then we'll move on to editing the materials. Just below, you'll see a list of all the materials used in the model. The next step is quite simple but extremely important. Just reload the original textures and instantly, your model will look much more vibrant and realistic. You'll notice familiar parameters like type, albedo, height map, and reflection. If you've worked with Enscape materials before, these should be very familiar. So I won't go into detailed explanations for each setting, just to save time. Now, let's see how I edit the materials to get the best possible visual result. After material editing is complete, click the camera icon to capture a thumbnail. This will be used to display your asset visually in the Unscape library. Now link the proxy FBX model. 
Navigate to the folder where you saved the file with the launch proxy suffix. Click Show in Preview to see how it looks inside SketchUp. If everything looks good, hit Save Changes and Export. That's it, the conversion is complete. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's open Onscape and check out the result after the conversion. You just need to drag and drop the model into your scene, quickly align it with the grid, and in less than a minute, you'll have a complete model in the correct position and scale, ready to render. The best part is, the model is super lightweight. Even if you're working with a large, detailed scene, the file stays smooth, no lag, no stutter, and the visual quality in Onscape remains excellent. If you'd like to try this process yourself, or customize the model to match your own style, I've included the download link for the original SketchUp file and all materials in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. See you in the next video. Bye bye!